This was the last meal I ate before I started intermittent fasting. Just kidding, it's not that deep. Hi, this is me, Zane. Your typical fast food loving, sugar craving, 20 something year old, 26. And this week I tried intermittent fasting as a way to lose weight, but also to save money. And this is what happened during the week. I hope you're ready for this because I definitely wasn't. Overeating is one of the main reasons why obesity is on the rise. And overeating is one of the easiest things you can do. So how can you stop intermittent fasting? So if your question is, should you try intermittent fasting? Then the answer is yes. 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 And if your next question is, will it actually help me lose weight? Then just take a look at my photo right here in February. This is four months ago. And this is me now. Now to demonstrate, I'm going to wear the exact same top that I was wearing then. And you can be the judge and see the difference. This is me now, seven kilograms lighter. So this week I wanna try the whole intermittent fasting just to convince and show you how easy it really is. Because I keep getting messages like this and it's just not true, it's so easy. So if you wanna lose weight, I think this is the easiest way you can do it. And throughout the week, I'm gonna show you not only how easy it is, but also some tips that you should be following while you're intermittent fasting to see the most benefits. Because a lot of people will do intermittent fasting and stop doing it and realize they've gained weight. So there are a few tips and tricks you should follow to make sure that you do not gain weight, but actually lose it. And of course, throughout the video, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks that are kind of educational that I've learned along the way of fasting that help you to maintain the weight loss and help you to actually increase your body's capacity to lose weight because it's not just about fasting and eating whatever you want it's still a restrictive diet that you have to follow kind of and as you know there are many different types of intermittent fasting starting from a 14 hour fast all the way up to a 72 hour fast and I want to try every single fast to show you what it's like to fast that fast so this week my schedule is going to be as follows day one i'll do the 14 hour fast so i will be fasting for 14 hours and then i can eat for 10 hours day two will be the 16 hour fast day three will be the 18 hour fast day four the 20 hour fast day five a rough 24 hour fast and finally day six and seven is going to be a 48 hour fast so without further ado here we start So around five minutes past nine, I was ready to start my fasting. And on the first day I was doing the very super easy 14 hour fast, which meant I could eat as early as 11 o'clock. Hey guys, how's it going? So right now it's 1 a.m. And that means I've been fasting for four hours so far. Um, I've developed a bad habit of sleeping really late during the quarantine period. So I sleep around 2 a.m. Just an update. I'm still in bed. I'm not going to sleep. It's 3 a.m. And because it's 3 a.m. I might be fasting accidentally more than 14 hours. Just because by the time I wake up. 11.30. So, you know, this is how easy it is to do the whole intermittent fasting for 14 hours. It's like, all you have to do is just stop eating a little bit early. Don't be snacking at midnight and just go to sleep. Super easy. I think anybody can do this unless you have any health issues that might stop you from doing that. So with your doctor just in case. You don't want to faint. You don't want anything to happen to you. Just because you're trying to lose weight, I think that would be silly. Talk to you guys tomorrow morning. So day one ended pretty easily. I woke up and had basically fasted 14 hours and a half. So to celebrate, I decided to have watermelon for breakfast because why not? <laughs> watermelon sugar. So throughout the day, I ate a few things and it 
didn't feel like I was fasting at all um, because it's such a short fast. But when it came time for my final meal, I decided to go a little bit classy. I decided to have the one, the only Subway meatballs. Because who doesn't want some juicy meatballs in their face? Um, nom, 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 nom. And just like that, I was ready to start my 16 hour fast and I decided, why don't I just go and work out as well? And I like skating, so I decided to skate at the park. But something happened out of nowhere that changed everything. Yes, I am joking, but it's actually serious. <laughs> Only when I came back home did I realize what had happened. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna go to bed now. It's not even late. It's like uh, 11, 11.15, but I feel sleepy if you're really tired. Basically, I think I'm kind of ill. Um, I've got a bite on my leg. Uh, it could be a tick bite. I don't know what it is. It's like the universe doesn't want me to exercise. I'm gonna have to wake up a little bit early tomorrow because I have to call the doctor for my bite. It's really bad. Do you guys want to see? Do you want to see? Here it is. <laughs> So unfortunately, I can't show you the bite for obvious reasons. And by obvious reasons, I mean YouTube. One of the most amazing things you could have is black coffee. Not only does it fill you up when you're fasting, but apparently what I found from researching this is that it helps you burn even more calories. And so if you're doing intermittent fasting, I would definitely recommend having black coffee or black tea. A few moments later. I got so hungry that I started making my breakfast 40 minutes early. And so today we're gonna eat healthier food. Today I'm putting two eggs with avocado, butter and toast. and squeeze them avocados on the toast like you don't care. And then we squash the eggs in, add some lemon, black sesame seeds, sesame seeds, and that's it, the fast is done. 16 hours and five minutes. That is it, breakfast is served. Ah, mm. It's good. That's so good. Now one thing about intermittent fasting you're supposed to do is first, the first meal you eat is meant to be really light and secondly, you're not supposed to mix carbs and fats together in the first hour of feeding. This is obviously something I haven't done yet but I'm gonna start doing tomorrow when the fast becomes longer because the longer you fast, the more important that you do follow this step. So good. Nom 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 nom. So guys, it's confession time. It's five o'clock and I'm starving. Um, I'm gonna go eat lunch slash dinner. Oh my God. Yeah, and I have to start fasting soon. Don't mind the mess in the back. That's not my clothes. There we go. Slash dinner, uh, which is like uh, a Middle Eastern food. It's basically got rice um, and tomatoes, aubergines, aubergines, aubergines. I can't pronounce it, but it's so good. You're gonna like it, I'm gonna show you. And once I've eaten it, I'm gonna cry because then I can't eat anymore. I think I'm gonna start my fasting today either at seven or eight o'clock today. It's five past five now. Like, thank you for sticking around so far in this video. I hope you carry on watching my journey. Fasting started off being really hard for me at the start. And it's like, as the longer you carry on fasting, the easier it gets. And then I like to do this little trick. So my body doesn't get used to the whole fasting all the time. And therefore it reduces your metabolism's working rate. So then your body burns less calories every single day. So what I usually do, if I'm not doing this whole week experiment of fasting. It's a little bit rough the way I do it. I basically shock my body, so it's never used to a routine. But I would eat normally, um, and then on the weekend, I would usually not eat for 48 hours, and that way it's like, it's like my body is, my metabolism is working all the time because I eat so much. And then the weekend comes and boom, no food for you, no food, go burn some fat work for me and I don't want to exercise. Before we go on with this video, I just want to say one thing that's a little educational. Jokes aside. I mean, this is why I love fasting so much. It's the easiest thing ever. Like all you have to do is not eat. It's like, you don't have to do something. Whereas with diets, like other diets, keto diet, you have to prepare a specific meal and blah, 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 blah. 
and I just don't have the patience for that. Whereas, you know what, fasting, I have to not eat, especially if you're doing the 24 hour fast. That means you can have a whole day where you don't even have to make food. Imagine all the other things you could do. Imagine all those other YouTube videos I could be watching that time, all those other TikToks I could be liking. Like, hey, it's great. By the way, like, like this video if you're not eating or if you're eating, come on, please. I'm starving myself, literally. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat now. I'll talk to you later. I'll show you my meal now. And obviously I'm not gonna be eating a lot of rice like I usually do because I am on a diet after all. This should be enough, right? Just kidding. I'm probably gonna be eating half of that portion if not even less. Ting, that looks good. And now here's the good stuff. Oh, look at it. It's so good. It is so good. I love Middle Eastern food. It's healthy and it's good and it's just the best thing ever. If you guys ever want to make this or want to know what it's called, comment down below and I will teach you how to do it. It's super easy. It's vegetables, by the way. I'm a flexitarian. I'm trying to be a vegetarian, but I'm not there yet. So this is basically just vegetables and rice, but it's so good. The Pepsi Max goes round and round, round all the way. In case you don't believe just how tasty that was. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I am so sorry, but it had to be done. And after that, I believe I ended up having chocolate and that was it. After that, I was ready to start my day three fast. So here we go, woo. And here I am about to start my big girl fast, 18 hours. Hopefully this is gonna go by easily and quickly, but we'll see what happens. Good morning, it's uh... It's 11.20, which means I've been fasting for 14 hours and 40 minutes, which means I like have under three hours to go. So that's really good. Um, I slept with my makeup, don't judge me. I might end up accidentally fasting a little bit longer. I'm gonna have to be out at three. Obviously plans could change, plans could get canceled. I'm waiting for the doctor to call me back about my leg. There's an update on the swelling. It's funny story, I had to literally take a lot of photos for the GP for my leg and I was like posing around being like, mm, how much sexy is too sexy? And then I took like over 20 photos and I was like, yeah, she's gonna enjoy those photos. And, and then it turns out I could only send five just because they want to take a look at my butt and determine what it is and whether, yeah, whether I'm gonna die or not. But anyways, I want to tell you about one thing though. Let me take you downstairs and tell you. People say it's okay to have a Pepsi Max when you're fasting because it has no sugar. And maybe, I don't know 100%, but usually if I'm fasting and I really, really am dying for this, then I would have it, but preferably I don't because some people say that it does technically mess up with your fast. The like fake sugar or whatever does increase your, your sugar levels. And then other people say that it doesn't because it literally has no sugar. It's just a sweetener. So I don't know the truth about that. It, it goes the same with a sweetener in coffee and a little bit of milk. Some people say adding a little splash of milk isn't a problem and sweetener obviously preferably don't do that if you're gonna do this fasting thing but at the same time if you're gonna do it for a long time and you're really craving like coffee with milk and a sweet you know coffee with milk then just have it like you're still fasting and you're still reducing your calorie intake throughout the day and i think that's the most important thing the whole reason why fasting works so well is because less of the day you spend eating and therefore you can't help but lose weight because let's let's say my body burns 2000 calories per day and i broke my fast i stopped fasting at like five o'clock probably gonna have a meal and like some snacks it's not gonna pass 2000 calories so it is still about like how much you eat. Like I do say like, yeah, you can eat whatever you want, but like the point is you're not gonna wanna eat a lot. <laughs> like you're just gonna eat less. That's just my water boiling up, by the way. What up, water? I know my fasting is gonna get a lot more strict and a lot harder. Like today is 18 hours tomorrow, which is like the real deal fast. And that's what I used to do in February where I lost a lot of weight. I did like the 20 hour fast, like probably four or five days a week. I saved so much money. <laughs> 
because I was living in Tenerife and like I was eating out all the time and suddenly I started fasting and I, like I would literally like just have water like at times even when I wasn't fasting I I didn't I wasn't hungry anymore so people have like a proper meal and sometimes I'll just get the dessert and like I know it's more calories but it's what I want to eat and it's all the capacity I had in my stomach or as well like people go out to eat and I'll just get a, an orange juice like when I'm not fasting and that did it for me but anyways I'll update you on my actual meal I'm just gonna have black coffee now because black coffee helps you burn calories for some reason it increases your body's burning calorie if it's decaffeinated coffee it still helps you burn calories so always 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 I mean I don't even like coffee but when I'm fasting, I drink it all the time. And the only form of exercise I did that day was do a little bit of the grass. Moan the grass, lawn. Moan the grass, moan? Lawn. Grass moan, grass lawn. So basically, I cut grass with this machine. I don't know what it's called. And I obviously don't know how to speak. Woo! And my mom was literally throwing it in my face with her breakfast. Like, look at it. It's so good. <laughs> I'm having my sad black coffee and look at her food. Just look at that. So after that I went out to do some food shopping and I came back really, really late and I had accidentally fasted for over 20 hours. And when I came to eat, this is the meal I had, which is actually pretty healthy and pretty decent and really tasty. And you know what's about to happen? Um nom 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 nom. <laughs> Um, nom 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 and after my dinner this was my midnight snack which is just tea and some biscuits <sighs> this is the face of a woman who knew she had to fast for another 20 hours and all she could think about was food no idea what's going on. Um, it's 4 a.m. I can't sleep because a f fly like a mosquito keeps coming around my head and I can hear it and it's just like I can't just let it eat me alive and it's 4 a.m. literally I every time I'll like go to sleep and I'll hear it and I'll wake up and I'll try and kill it and I slapped it a few times but it didn't die. I'm going freaking nuts. I just can't sleep like this. It's weird because when I was used to be a kid I used to just be like hey it's fine like if a mosquito's in the room, I'm just gonna fall asleep. I don't care. But like, my mom used to stay up being like, no, I'm gonna kill it. And now, that's exactly how I feel because of my previous tick bite. I say tick bite, it's not even a tick. Anyways, good night. Pray for me to kill that second mosquito. And by the way, I'm all against killing animals. But when it comes to like freaking mosquitoes, then. They're gonna hurt me before they deserve to die. <laughs> Death sentence for all mosquitoes. Woo! Call me crazy, but I'm basically just sat here waiting for the mosquito to show up so I can bam kill it. And it worked. That's what happened in the first one. So. <laughs> So to celebrate losing two and a half kilograms, which is 0 0.39 in stones and which is 5.5 pounds, I decided to celebrate by having coffee with milk and sweetener. Woo! And then as a form of exercise, I went for a long walk around my neighborhood. Thirsty. But I forgot to take any water with me, so I guess that's a pretty stupid move. And the day went by and I was finally ready to eat. Oops, I did it again. I broke another cover. Oh, that's going to be so satisfying. Oh. That's kind of nice, you know?
So to avoid mixing carbs and fats, while I break my fast in the first hour, I decided to have a yogurt drink. This is basically yogurt mixed in with water and a little bit of salt. It's really good and it's the best way to break your fast for the first hour. Once the hour passed, I had some leftovers, which I decided to have because I stopped eating almost at 10 p.m. and tomorrow I'm doing a 24 hour uh, fast. That means that I will not be able to eat until almost 10 o'clock at night, which is like definitely not good. And this only happened because I've been over fasting in the last couple of days. But if you if you were to do the 24 hour fast, then I would recommend you break your fast maybe around three or five o'clock. 5 p.m. is a good time because apparently most of it basically the longer the day goes by, the lower your body sugar levels are. And therefore when you eat, it's like apparently, because I'm not a scientist, I don't know, I just read this online and watched YouTube videos. But apparently when you eat at that time, your body doesn't absorb everything like like it doesn't need to go crazy on absorbing the calories anyways i mean when i have problems what i really want to do is just do this <sighs> I just woke up it's 11 o'clock which means i've only been fasting for 11 hours so that's uh, i already know it's gonna be a tough day um but if i can make it through today then i can make it through tomorrow easily because tomorrow i'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be like i fasted for 36 hours and it's like when i'm that close i can carry on i think today is just the hardest day and it's a little bit disappointing how I went from 0.5 to 0.9, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this was water weight and I'm pretty happy to gain that back. A few moments later. Guys, just an update. Just add my hair a little bit. Um, I don't know, it's 2.40 and I feel really weak. It's also really, really hot in the UK today, which is making the day even harder to go by. I guess I feel really dehydrated. I feel really... I'm not really hungry, but like my body feels like it's weak. <laughs> and it's like I need to eat something to stay alive. Like, I don't know. Because I barely ate anything yesterday. I don't know. I think the problem is this current video that you're watching. And if you're watching this and you made it this far, thank you so much. But this current video that you're watching i need to edit it still from the start to finish i just don't have the energy to do that so i kind of just convinced myself to eat today and begin fasting at six or seven and do a 24 hour fast until tomorrow that's what i convinced myself but i don't know if i'm gonna <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna do this i don't know i don't know what to do i am like tired and dizzy and it's like my body feels tingly it's really weird like my muscles when i move them they're like tingle tingle too and they're like don't move us doing a 24 hour fast then following by a 48 hour fast is really hard i think it's a big mistake like all i'm doing is just laying down like this is me this is me literally this is me just waiting for time to pass that's not ideal I want to be creative, but I can't. My body's weak. And not long after that, I went to my mother's bedroom to ask her if I should eat. AKA, I wanted her to tell me I should eat. That's my mom to tell me. I don't eat. Huh? Oh, cool. Huh? What's on? This. Basically, I'm going to eat. I've decided I'm going to eat. I can't do it. I can't. If I hadn't done this whole week thing, then I could have done two days. I've done two days before, I swear. I've done it before and it works and it's great. But I just can't get myself to do anything but lay down. I have no energy and the only thing I can think about is food. And it's not like I'm even hungry, but it's just like, I guess because I can't have it, I want it. And I just feel like really drained of energy. And maybe I haven't done this one thing, which was drink water with like a little bit of salt tiny tiny pinch of salt and maybe that's why i feel the way i do but either way i'm gonna eat now this doesn't mean i'm gonna cancel my entire fasting thing i'm still supposed to fast until tomorrow 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat today until 6 or 8, uh, sorry, 6 or 7 o'clock. And tomorrow, uh, I'm going to carry on and do a 24-hour fast until tomorrow, 6 o'clock. And then I can finally eat again. And for my breakfast, I had eggs with like tiny little pieces of meat. And that way I don't mix carbs with fat. It was just a fat meal. But then I added some um, honey. I know, don't judge me. It's only because I was worried my sugar levels were down. So I added some honey and I ate it all. It was... It was an interesting taste. Definitely not having that meal again. Well, I've eaten, now I'm feeling really, really sleepy. Don't know what that's about, but I've eaten. So we'll see when the energy kicks in. One more thing, because I feel tired and dizzy, maybe it's my blood sugar that's low. So I started eating biscuits and I'm having juice as well. A few moments later. Hey guys, what's up? It's 2 a.m. and I'm watching a film called The Hunt. It's really weird and cool and like not cool but it's like different so i'm halfway through kind of wish i had like snacks like i was snacking on something some crisps or something and it's like i know it's not necessary but it's like let's just add something to the movie experience right right jackie yeah yeah but you know i'm not hungry or anything i mean maybe a little bit i'll go to bed i'll probably wake up at 11. i just want to say one thing like today i literally had no energy for eight so i'm so glad i ate because i literally had no energy at all i didn't feel okay i think my blood pressure was up my sugar was low i don't know it's just all over the place so i'm so glad i ate because i was literally gonna die if i had any in um so yeah peace out i'll see you tomorrow morning he said What's up guys? If you've been following my journey so far up to this point, then thank you so much. Literally almost nobody sticks around to this long in a YouTube video in general, not just my content. So thank you for being that person who stayed. Um, unfortunately, I, I woke up the next morning and I felt weak again. I felt tired, I felt dizzy, and I felt like I wasn't gonna get anything done. And so unfortunately, I had an English breakfast. I quit that fast. So I guess I haven't actually fasted for a whole seven days. I've actually fasted for five days. And I am and I am very proud of this fast. Again, like I said, if I hadn't been doing this as an experiment, I would have been able to do a 48 hour fast, no problem. But obviously this is the way it's been. But anyways, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. Uh, please do feel free to give this YouTube channel a like and a subscribe. That would be amazing. And uh, most important of all, have a good day. See you later.